The next step is to set up the eyelids with control geometry to make it easier to select these overlapping joints. You will also set up the eye target joint as a look at for the eyeball using a different section of Houdini called VOPS. So let's start by putting down a delete joint node. Put that here and wire in from there. We're going to then go and select here. We're going to select um, and we're going to select the lower lid and the upper lid and it looks like we want to go over this here and go enter. Um, and for some reason this went, that's fine. And we want to go back here. Okay, so now we've got that. We've got the upper lid and the lower lid. And what we want to do is we want to add a rig pose. And we're going to put that down here. And we're going to take that. We're just going to press the S key and select those two joints. Oh. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, we should have gone delete non-selected, get rid of everything except there. So let's go into here and we'll just get rid of that. And we'll press the S key and select, and there we should get upper and lower lid, perfect. And in this case, what we wanna do is we want to lock translate and lock scale. So we've got just rotate. Now let's put in a skeleton, skeleton blend. And we'll bring this back in to here. Of course, we need to click world space to make that work. Now, in addition to this, what we want to do is we want to put some geometry in there. So the way we're going to do that is just go back to another one where we had a circle here. And we're going to alt drag that out bring that down and bring that down here and we'll use that to wire into here so the first one uh, we're gonna go 0 0.075 and we're gonna make the center in X negative 0 0.01 we're gonna make the color blue and we're gonna call this name low lid Up lid control. Then we're going to take all three of these. We're going to alt drag them over to here. We're going to go back to this one and we're going to change that to positive. And we're going to put down a merge to wire these together. Oh, and the other thing we want to do is change the name of this to low lid. So once we have those two, um, we can put an attach control geometry right in the middle there and wire that in. If we set that up there, we can set up two of them here and we'll go in and control, get the upper lid and we're gonna go and select the lower lid, go over there pick upper lid and pick lower lid oh and the, the thing we we want to do with the two circles is we're going to change the to the YZ plane so we get them here so we can select that so now if we go to the rig pose um, you'll see we get the upper lid and we control that now let's uh, just bone to form here and we'll see there we go, we control the upper lid with that. And if we select the lower lid, we now control that. Perfect. And at, when we finish, if we want, we can revert those to the defaults because we're gonna wanna promote those at some point. But basically we've now got controls attached in here uh, specifically uh, around this idea of doing the two eyelids. So that's perfect. Right, we're just going to cancel that for a second. I forgot. It would be actually better if we just brought over the the uh, translate or the rotate Y because uh, that's all we, we're going to need into here. So uh, to do that, we're going to again go back to here, go edit asset properties, bring that up, and we'll just put the separator back in, and then we'll drag this over and say. 
lid, rotate, and then we'll take this one and lower lid, rotate, and press accept. And those we should see that uh, in in there as well. Again, if we click here and we click back here. Um, let me just see where we are. Oh, I see. We're not in the right place right now. We want to go back to the test rig. So the test rig now has that in there, which is exactly what we want. Now, if we go back here and we go back to Fur Dude Animation Rig, we want to specifically um, work on now the the eyeball. And this skeleton bl blend, we're going to call lids. And we're going to put in another delete joint node down. Um, sorry, we also wanted to uh, select the eye target. So we've got both of those. So now if we look here, we've got a point out here and a point out there. Perfect. So now we're going to put in a rig pose. Okay, so there we have the eye target. Now we only want to translate this, so we're going to lock the rotate and we're going to lock the scale. Now we're going to put down a node called rig attribute vop. And just, just to make things easier to understand later, we're going to wire this into the first input and this into the second input. Set the display on that. Now let's add a skeleton blend. And we're going to call that um, skeleton blend eyeball. And we're going to wire this into here. And we'll do world space. Now let's double click on this to get into it. Now click on the eyeball joint. And there's one called eyeboy delete joints. We're going to bring that in. That's going to bring in something called a get point transform. Now click on the target. And just like we did there, we're going to bring in that as well. So that gives us the uh, the two that we had there. Now we're going to click on the eyeball, and we're going to click that first eyeball one. We're going to bring that over, and you see that's a set point transform. So we're going to get information, and then we're going to set information. So we're going to go tab, look at, and there's two of them. We're going to get the kin effects one, and we're going to place that down in here. And we're going to get the X form from the X form to, and we're going to do the X form here, and we're going to go to the X form input there. Now, if we go back up this level, we're going to set ourselves on the bone to form, and we'll see that uh, the eyeball got flipped. So let's go back into here, look at that eyeball. We're going to go with the Z instead of the negative Z, and that flips that back around. So let's just go back up one level, go to the rig pose, grab this, and what we see is... Okay, now that didn't work, and the reason that didn't work is because this, we should have got that from, actually, from the rig pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete that, we're going to go onto here. We're going to say this one, we want to bring the rig pose one over. By rigging the rig pose one, that's the one that gets modified with there. Then we can go from there to perfect. Now we go back up one level. If we go to the rig pose, now this will move the eyeball. So the mistake we made before was we were bringing in the target before it had been modified by the rig pose. Uh, th that one that was coming in through the first input instead of the one coming in through the second input. Anyway, we've got that working now. 
So now we can control the eye, uh, and that's exactly what we want. Now, just like we did before, um, what we'd like to do is just put a, a box down. Set its scale to 0 0.015. Let's uh, put a color node down. We'll make that a blue. And then we'll put a name node down. And we'll call that, oh, don't set the template on that. Um, we're gonna set that name to eye control. Now, just like we've done in the past, I'm going to put attach control geometry in here. I'm going to feed that into here. And we'll do this. And what we'll do is this first thing we'll select is the eye target. Actually, we'll pick it there. Pick it there. Just the eye target. Oh, and it created a second one here for some reason. We don't need that one. Uh, and then from here, we'll pick eye control. And there we go. We've got a control there set ourselves back onto the bone to form here and that's looking good so now we can um, being to or not begin to organize that a little bit as uh, just to get our last sort of network box set up here and we'll just set all of this put that down there put a network box over there and just name name this I trolls I think I got that right oh, totally spelled that wrong and there we go I controls and just like we did before we're going to need the some of these controls um, to go with the assets so we're going to go asset edit asset properties animation rig and we're going to take that rig pose here and we're going to bring that I target stuff into here and we're going to go I position and we'll put that there perfect and we press accept now somehow um, when we've been working this has been jumping back to the same path as this so we're going to jump up and jump out um, oh, that puts me on test rig perfectly. And then this one can go back to here. So now we can grab the eye target, and that's working. Similarly, the upper lid and the lower lid are also doing their thing as well. So we've got all the controls we need for the character ready to go. Uh, so now we can take this rig and actually animate it uh, to feel what that part of the process would uh, feel like.